Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and welcome back to Sew Along Sunday. Although today isn't a sew along. Today is one of our break videos. We did um, finish up our couture skirt last week and next week we start on our Goheen Designs Huxley backpack. So I'm going to leave a link down below for that pattern because I do have a code for 20% off. Um, she also has hardware kits available for that if you're interested. So that'll give you some time to get that ordered if you are wanting to join along. Anyway, for today, I had some requests on how to do burn tests on fabric to determine the fiber content. So as many of you know, I inherited a very large fabric stash from my sewing mentor, Joyce, um, who can no longer sew. Uh, and I have got a lot of her fabric and I don't even have all of it. Like it went to a lot of the people in our group, in our uh, professional sewing group, that uh, our local chapter for our organization. Um, but I did take a lot of it. And a lot of it was old. I mean, this woman has been sewing her entire life. Um, she was a professional seamstress, I think, for 45 years before she retired. Um, so there was a very large fabric stash and a lot of old fabric that was in the stash. So part of sorting through all this fabric and kind of pulling some things out for donations and then the good stuff that we all kind of went through was setting a lot of things on fire. <laughs> So I kind of was mentioning, you know, doing burn tests to determine, you know, what stuff was and if it had any poly, basically determining if it had polyester in it really was what we were kind of doing. Um, and again, I have very rudimentary skills when it comes to burn tests. You know, I'm not, some of the guys in um, some of these like fabric warehouses that can set fabric on fire and be like, oh, that's 70% wool, 30% nylon. <laughs> like I can't, I'm not that good. However, um, I want to show you, actually I forgot to bring the book over here, let me show you um, a fantastic resource really for a lot of things, but a good one for burn test as well. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, now this book has been in print for a while. Um, this, I don't know, I got this one used. Um, but it's Claire Schaefer's Fabric Sewing Guide. This thing is gigantic. It has all the information on all the different kinds of fabrics that you can ever imagine. A lot of the pictures are kind of um, a little outdated, but it is just wonderful information. Um, and it goes each part, you know, part one is all about fiber content, and she goes through about, I mean, Rami, R-A-M-I-E, I haven't even heard of that fiber. <laughs> but um, she goes through everything. But one of the things that she does have in here is how to do a, um, a burn test and kind of the things that you should be oh it's this book is full of information um definitely i'll leave a link down below but you know hit up some of the online um secondhand bookstores um so anyway for instance it says cotton so natural natural vegetable fibers which would be cotton linen and rami i don't even know what that is rami hmm. But it tells you when it burns cotton, for instance, it will burn rapidly. Yes, it does. Um, it has a yellow flame, and then it continues burning. has a little bit of an afterglow. It smells like paper, and it has um, the residue is brown tinged in light-colored feathery ash. Um, linen smells like rope when it burns. It burns slower than cotton, and the ash maintain, maintains the shape of the swatch. Rayon smells like paper or rags. Yes, it does. Um, very little light fluffy ash. I have a hard time determining between rayon and cotton other than you can kind of just feel the difference. But as far as a burn test, they smell the same, like very um, similar. Anyway, silk, I mean, it goes through everything. Even like how you can tell the difference between nylon, polyester, acrylic, spandex. I mean, I... Nylon smells like celery when it's burnt just for... Polyester has a sweet smell. I don't know. I usually just am figuring out if it's natural or synthetic. But anyway, there's a whole chart here in the front of this book. And this book in and of itself is a fantastic thing to have in your sewing library. I mean, it just talks all, I mean, any question you ever have about fiber, right, right here. <laughs> the answer's right there. So again, I'll leave a link down to the book below. Um, I don't know if it's one of those that's like so out of print. Although I think this one has been reprinted many times, so you might be able to find it um, new or, again, at um, any kind of a used bookstore, online, that kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to my cutting table and we're going to set some stuff on fire. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you the difference in some of the more common fibers. Um, and then hopefully that will help you all identify if you have any mystery fabric in your stash, if you buy anything from like... Um, 
thrift shops or garage sales or car boot sales as they call it over over the pond um, and you just aren't really sure what it is um, which does happen uh, this is a very easy way to determine what is in your fabric and if it's good stuff or not really so uh, let's go over to the cutting table and we are gonna set some stuff on fire all right so I've got a bunch of fabric um, little scrappies here um, little things that I've cut off. And actually, I know what the um, content is on all of these, except for this mystery one, and we're actually gonna find that out together what that is. I have suspicions, but we're gonna find out. Um, actually, these are a nice little color combination together, aren't they? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go through these, each one, and kind of show you um, how to do it. And then, um, yeah, and then we're gonna talk about the results. All right, now I've seen most people when they do this, they will you know, will hold the scrap of the fabric in tweezers, which is probably the, the best way to do it. I just like to go rogue. I did burn the living daylights out of my finger. Um, I don't know if you can even see. Um, with polyester, it like flew back and basically um, melted plastic smacked me. So that's never good. But I'm going to set this on fire and then I'm gonna have to bring it back here to blow it back out. I don't wanna ignite all of this. But just get a lighter, nice long lighter. We're gonna light it on fire. All right, so you see the little afterglow there? And also you see how it's holding its shape. It's got, I can smell it. And if you just wanna sniff, it does definitely have kind of a, um, a woodsy kind of type smell. Um, I think Claire said rope. But if you see how it keeps its shape. Now when I go to touch, now that it is um, cooled, it flakes right off. So this is linen. And there's absolutely no um, other fiber, there's no other um, poly or acetate or nylon or anything in that. It is completely smooth where I've burnt it. I can smell, it does, it smells like a burning rope. Um, if, if you know what that smells like, burning straw kind of. So that's definitely, um, that's how we tell that that is linen. Um, and then again, you saw kind of how that, that looked. Okay, so that one's linen. Next up, is this one, which is a very sheer. I'm gonna be ready for this one. Okay, I had to be ready for that one because I know what this is and this one will take off in a flame. So now that this is cooled, we're gonna flake this off. And this one takes off in a flame because it's cotton. This also smells like um, burning paper. I mean, like it's like cotton on <laughs> if that makes sense but it definitely has like a woodsy smell to it um yeah so I would say like yeah like wood like a campfire kind of smell again there's no hard parts when I touch it um and again cotton goes up and it's like whoosh so you do have to be careful if you have a suspicion that something's cotton be ready to blow it out because it'll it'll it will ignite and go pretty quickly linen does not burn as quickly but yeah so that one is cotton all right this one all right now you see how this one just kind of receded back from where I was burning you it might lead you to think that maybe this is polyester however when you touch the ash and it comes completely off and it goes completely ashy there's no hard parts there at all and when you smell it, it smells exactly like burnt hair. This is silk. Silk smells just like burnt hair. It will smell just like your, um, and I'm sure any of you who have ever blown your hair dry know exactly what burnt hair smells like because if any hair has ever gotten into that blow dryer. But again, there are no hard parts. Silk is definitely one you'll be testing to see if it's silk versus polyester. So again, because it like it kind of curled back away from the flame. It might lead you to believe it's polyester, but let it cool, blow it out, let it cool, and then feel it. And that will tell you right away, there is no hardness there at all. It smells just like burnt hair. That is 100% silk. All right, now this one. Okay, I'm gonna give that, oh, if you, this was smell of vision you guys would know exactly what this is too. Um, 
this is wool. Oh, actually, I thought this is 100% wool. There's a little polyester in this wool. This is wool and um, with some polyester in it. See, I hadn't done a burn test on this one. I thought for sure it was just regular wool, but there's some poly in it. However, with wool, it again will ash off. There won't be any hard parts. Wool, a lot of times, especially coating weights, will have polyester or nylon in there for durability, um, especially like the heavier melting wools and that kind of thing. So, um, and this one does. I didn't think it, it did. I thought it was old enough, but nope, that one's got some poly in it or nylon or some sort of um, um, man-made material. Some plastic, basically. <laughs> But anyway, it smells like burnt fur. I mean, it's definitely any of the proteins, silk, wool, they all smell like burnt hair, burnt um, fur, that kind of thing, singed um, hair, that, that smell. It's very potent. Um, but again, if you've got any kind of polyester blend in there, you will have the hard parts, and I do have the hard parts. Um, right there on the end, so there's some poly in there. It's got wool, and it's probably mostly wool, but there is a little bit of um, synthetic in there. Interesting. All right, now on to this one. Now this one kind of does like what the silk did, you know? It just kind of bites away from the flame, right? We're gonna let it cool a little bit, because I really don't want to burn myself. Okay, you can see that is completely hard. That is a polyester, acetate, nylon, some kind of lining material. There is no natural fiber in there. So you see how it's, it's warped itself and it's curled up on itself and it's melted basically. It's not burnt at all, it's just melted. So that's how we know that that is a completely polyester, um, again, nylon, acetate, something along those lines. Oh, I forgot to get a rayon sample. Okay, I'll come back and do that. All right, this is mystery. Let's find out what this is. Okay, that's linen. I'm gonna give it a second. You see how it's still slow burning? Linen has like, it will stay, it will stay, and it keeps its shape until you touch it. Yeah, that's 100% linen. Okay, that's good to know. I have a nice weight, 100% linen. All right, let me go and grab a rayon um, sample real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, so here is our last sample. This is actually the same fabric that my shirt's made out of. <laughs> Slow burn. Okay. This one also is holding on to its flame. If you could smell it, it, it smells exactly like a campfire. Like all of my campfire memories as a child are just literally, and it's smoking like a candle. Like a fire, like a, a wood burning fire. So that's how you know it's rayon because rayon is made from wood pulp. They, um, it's a man-made process, but it is actually made from um, cellulose, which is trees basically. Um, wood that has gone through a process to turn it into a fiber. So actually bamboo is considered a rayon as well. Viscose is also um, same thing as rayon, um, but bamboo is a type of rayon. It's just where they've used the bamboo plant instead of regular um, wood basically to make the fiber. So um, anyway, there you have it. So rayon smells just like a campfire. I mean, it literally just like wood is burning. So there you have it. That is how you do, do burn tests. Again, I'm not, I can pretty much tell the basic fibers. Um, that's about the extent of my expertise, but I hope this helps next time you are trying to determine the um, origin of your mystery fabric. And again, be safe with your fire. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Tweezers are probably a better idea. All right, have a good one, guys. All right, so that is how you do burn tests on fabric to determine some of your more common um, fibers. So I hope that was super helpful. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. On Tuesday, we will have great module sew along video and it will be going over the first three tops in my first module. Um, I've made two of those and one of them is something I got for Christmas. So I'll be talking you through um, why I picked those three tops and showing them to you obviously. And then on Friday, 
um, I'm going to have a wardrobe, my travel wardrobe capsule for Florida, um, kind of the pieces that I'm going to be packing and how they're going to work together. So kind of a travel module in practice type thing. Um, so that will be on next Friday and then next Sunday we will start our first video for our Huxley bag sew along. And again, don't forget to check out that coupon down below to get that pattern if you're interested in sewing along with us. All right guys, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye!